Well, hello. I am Sydney Wright. Sydney Like Australia, right with a W. I am an artist and songwriter and live sound engineer here in Austin. I, I want to thank KVU for putting on this music series. It's, it's really clutch to have a space to sh show people the music that I make and how I make it. Um, and I'm really stoked about all the other artists on this series, a lot of my friends. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've been a gremlin through quarantine. I have been sitting here in the creation station just trying to make this amalgamation of pedals all work together. And I think I've, I've got some solid footing now and I'm really excited to show y'all guys what I've been doing and how it all works. Uh, I'll, I'll start off by showing you just demoing all the gear and showing it off and, and giving y'all a song. This one is called um, Somebody. I, I made it up. Seeing two body like a cloak, you cover me. Got your lip between my teeth. I say you wanna speak, let the mind to speak. Then you hit me with the downbeat. Everybody wants somebody. Everybody needs somebody. Hey, everybody get somebody. Everybody wants somebody. Everybody needs somebody. Everybody get somebody. Everybody wants somebody. Everybody needs somebody. Somebody, somebody, do I do it for you? You're doing it for me. I wanna work it for you. Cause it's working for me. We got a lot to say and a lot to see. You and me, we could be somebody, somebody. Somebody, somebody. Is no, but I hesitate. I make you wait. I don't get up, I don't go. You got me staring like a statue. Do you even know what you're into? I look back at my bag, I keep it packed. But I don't wanna leave without you. Everybody wants somebody. Everybody needs somebody. Hey, everybody get somebody. Everybody wants somebody, everybody needs somebody, everybody gets somebody, everybody wants somebody, everybody needs somebody, 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 do I do it for you, you're doing it for me, I wanna work it for you, cause it's working for me, we got a lot to say, and a lot to see, you and me we could be somebody, 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 oh, 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 oh. What I want is what you want. We want it all. Take me on, I'll take you on. Take it all. What I want is what you want. We want it all. Take me on, I'll take you on. Take it all. What I want. What you want, we want it all. Take me on, I'll take you on. Take it all, what I want is what you want. We want it all. Take me on, I'll take you on. Somebody, somebody. Somebody, somebody. Somebody, 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 somebody,
So that's, that's the thing. That's all of the things. Um, yeah, I really, I really love what's going on here. I had this, uh, it's like a backing track pedal. Tried to loop that one over. That's why it started back up again. Um, but yeah, let's talk about all the stuff that's going on right now. I'm going to turn off my reverb. Hold it. Um, okay, so... This is, I think I said before, welcome to the creation station. This is what, where I've been for months and months, and I've been working on getting these pedals to all, you know, be cohesive and, and listen to each other when they need to, and, and um, yeah, I think it's working out so far. I'm very excited to start playing shows in front of people and see how, like, the mixes sound uh, on actual PAs because right now all I've gotten is is what's going on in my headphones and what I have in my little Bose mixer um, So yeah, let me switch the camera angle so I can look at y'all and You can hear me in the mic. So um, Yeah, I am using a loop pedal an MPC live standalone mixer which basically it like carries backing tracks um, without having to have a, a computer on stage, which I think is tacky. But, um, so the standalone mixer is a huge lifesaver. It makes me, you know, be able to put everything in one case and, and carry it off just like a keyboard. Um, yeah, I've got, uh, this Nord, I'm using a Nord Electro 6D. It, it does everything that I need it to do. The objective or the goal is to get a Nord stage. That's what I really want. There's just more um, features that I want to be able to use on that one. Um, yeah, um, let me switch the camera angle again and give you, there we are. Hi, so this is my webcam. Um, earlier you were seeing my camcorder over here and then here's my um, DSLR. It's be, it's been like a struggle to get DSLRs to act, to act as webcams, um, but finally everyone saw it as a as a demand uh, when quarantine started. And my DSLR company, I have a a Canon EOS T6i Rebel, um, and they made some software to get it to talk to your computer like it's a webcam. So that fixed that whole issue. Thanks, Canon. Um, but anyway, let's get back to the matter at hand, which is the music. Um, so I've got my standalone mixer, my loop pedal, my keyboard. I've also got, boop. There we go. So this is a Nectar Pacer. It's a MIDI stomp foot switch pedal. Um, and it allows me to send MIDI messages to my looper to start and stop the loops, um, or MIDI messages to the standalone mixer just to keep the set going when I need to be hands-free, like when I'm playing guitar or when I'm just like preoccupied. <laughs> so, oh, let's go ahead and hit this while we're down here. So I've got this Big Shot ABY pedal. I hope y'all can see it. It's just got two little foot switches on it. And all it does is let me send <clears throat> the Nord into that pedal, and then I can split the signal. There. 
That way I can split the signal of the Nord into um, the looper whenever I want to use Nord sounds for looping and I can also send a signal to front of house so they can mix my keyboard between these two pedals and everything else which is super clutch because you don't want you want to give them control over everything so it's that's really important to have for me um so yeah i'm gonna stomp on my i'll show you how that works so i'm sending cc messages eventually to my looper and i can somebody, start somebody. Somebody, 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 those vocals somebody, that I somebody, just recorded somebody, and I can stop them. It'll stop them. Somebody, 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 somebody. There we go. So that's all my gear. Let's, uh, we can go now to the audio gear that um, lets me record and lets me live stream with like really good audio. That's one of the main components of a good live stream is having good audio and good video and good Good internet. That's the third third component there, but uh, I'll show you all that one. So there you go. Um, so back here, I don't know why I'm wearing these anymore. Whew. Back here, I've got um, a Behringer Euphoria. Actually, I can monitor better this way. <laughs> so I'm um, when I have these on, I'm able to hear what's coming out of my little Bose speaker and what is going into the computer to record for this video video so it just I feel safer with this on um, anyway so these are my interfaces this is a Behringer UMC 1820 it will allow me to do up to eight channels in the way that I need it to work and um, it's a big level up because I'm able to mix myself better. I'm basically using it as, as a mixing board, but it has amazing preamps because Behringer acquired Midas a few years back, and Midas is the the analog board that you would want for any venue that you opened when analog boards were a thing. So, like, this has Midas preamps in it, and it was a great buy, and I feel very excited. And that's this, uh, can you see? Yeah. That's his long one under the red one right here. Um, unfortunately, with stream with my streaming software, it's Streamlabs, um, Streamlabs OBS, Slobs. It's a gaming software, and it doesn't like to take more than two channels of audio at a time. So I have to like it can't pick up the eight channels of audio that comes with this interface. I have to send it send these signals into a two channel audio interface that will then talk to Streamlabs OBS and let me record this video and let me um, get all my channels in on the live stream, which is really important. Um, so yeah, this is my old interface. I upgraded to the Behringer. This is a Focusrite uh, Scarlet 2i or something. It, it's, a, it's great. It's a two-channel interface and I send what's in my Behringer to it and the other channel is my vocal which comes through this Bose um, mixer because I like the Bose reverb and so that's what I use for my vocal when I want to sing and it sound pretty um, so yeah I send it through that board so I can get that good reverb on it and then I send it into the two channel interface and then I just mix the music versus the vocal anytime I want to live stream so um, then that goes out of USB into my um, streaming computer and delivers fantastic sound every time. I feel like this is a commercial now for all my gear. <laughs> but honestly, it's a... Uh... Yeah, I've really loved live streaming and I've loved getting to use my slob software. Um, it, it creates interactive moments like a virtual tip jar and a chat box and an alert box that tells you where you or like who f followed you while you're, you were streaming and who shared your stream and who subscribed to your twitch channel while you were streaming and stuff like that it also lets me do fun things like this switch camera mode right in the middle of the song sometimes if i want to <laughs> ha, ha. i'm like guessing at what camera it is <laughs> um so, I really love Streamlabs. I was never a gamer before, and I'm still not, but I, uh, there we go. It is very re rewarding and a really 
something that I would have never found if there hadn't been a global pandemic and had forced me to figure out how to hold virtual shows. Um, so I am grateful for that. So I have my looper. I have my NPC live. I have my Nord. I have one scene on the looper for every song that I want to play that is controlled by this, this unit. So basically that one scene is told what its tempo is by this guy and I'm sending CC messages to it through this guy and this pedal is the only one this pedal listens to when I'm on this specific scene. I'm going to change the scene. What? I'm going to change the scene. Okay, so check it out. I'm going to do a quick cover for y'all and show y'all how I've got this pedal. When it's the boss, this is how it works. So... This is my guitar. It is colored like the uh, my Nana's bathroom in the old farmhouse that she used to have. That is what this color is. That is why I bought the guitar. <laughs> it's really, really important and cool to me. I, I love it. I need to get it set up, but I love it. There we go. Um, all right. Can y'all see everything? I feel like that's the best angle probably to get the whole picture so here we go I've got um excuse me one track already um put in here it's it, it makes it faster to just give myself the key so I can start making the vocal loop so here it is so it sort of gives me a tempo and the key that I'm trying to so I can start with drums I can start with vocals looping vocals I can do whatever I want but at least I've got the key and like the basics to get started. So I'll, I'll start with vocals. Here we go. that going I'm gonna go to my scene over here that will send sounds out of here into this it's on a different subgroup it's on a different output it's completely modifiable for just this function so let me get there one sec okay here we go so yeah So now I get to choose from my drum pads what kind of drums I want for this for this uh, cover that I'm doing. That's right here. So this is a drum program that I went to Lockhart and got um, my guitarist and his amazing girlfriend to um, record all the sounds that my drummer can make. His name's Fred Mandujano. He has all the fun toys. He can make any sound that I want, and I love the sounds that his drum makes. Their drums make. They are like it's it's totally spiritual. So I got a bunch of those samples, and that's what this drum program is made out of. Ah, I want to do snaps. Ah. It's easiest to just like add snare first. That way you know you're like on track. Oh. Okay, so got that. And I've got the click coming into my ear from the phones out of this pedal. Yeah. Let's go here, yeah. sample 
that specific sample, I have a delay sync effect. So no matter how is that working actually? <laughs> no matter uh, what tempo we're at, it's gonna match. Sounds like it's cut into like thirds of what the measure is. Anyway, getting a little nerdy. Let's go. Let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so these are some fun sounds that my bass player Tom Pearson sent to me. It's like just normal everyday sounds that you would hear in an, a bar or your home. It's awesome. And I want to do a little bit of a tom sort of thing, so I've got this. Oh, I'd like to get my 
coming up, cotton is slamming door. How about some information, please? Straight up, now tell me, do you really want to love me forever? As you can see, I have these claws on, uh, and so it makes my guitar playing a little bit questionable, but it was for fashion, so it's all good. Um, I have, or I had a cover art shoot um, for a single that I have coming out this year, and I have uh, an EP coming out next year. Turn that reverb off. And it's all... Uh, it's all in the works. It's all going to be awesome. I haven't even looked at the photos that we've taken yet, so I don't know exactly what's happening with it yet. But um, I'm excited to have these nails, to get to like pay for nails and have them for a few weeks. And I'm excited for the music that's coming out. And I hope y'all will give it a listen. You can find it, um, it'll be on Spotify and you know iTunes, wherever you stream music. Um, at Sydney Wright, I have a patron, I have a YouTube, I have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, kind of, I'm trying to get into it, we'll see. Um, yeah, thank y'all again for having me on this lesson, I hope that I made any sense <laughs> and didn't just ramble like a lunatic. <laughs> Um, because I have felt like, like, yeah, like a little goblin in here just dealing with all my electronics and my music and that's what quarantine's been like for me. Um, anyway, so thank you. Thank you, Cave View. Thanks for doing this. This is the end. I'm Sydney Wright. Sydney like Australia, right with a W.